Hello and thanks for listening. The Terran Space Operations Commission has asked the Academy to analyze the recent flights of Starship numbers 8 and 9. We are going to do a side-by-side -side analysis of the flights. We have synced the video down to one-tenth of a second, but because they go to different altitudes, they will diverge at the end. Then we will sync the startup of the engines so we can analyze what happened with each ship. Here we go. The telemetry you see is for serial number 9, as is the SpaceX narration. I couldn't find it for serial number 8. Everything seems to be working perfectly with both rockets shutting their engines down one at a time as they throttle back to minimum. Remember that each ship is rapidly burning propellant mass and losing weight. Serial number 9 is going to go up to 10,000 meters only. Serial number 8 went up to 12,500. There was some discussion that the added 2,500 meters was not within the FAA's approved height limit, and that is why number 9 was limited to 10,000. I'm wondering if the lower altitude kept number 9 from slowing down enough. Four minutes. Vehicle is at 10 kilometers. It's apogee. It is at apogee. We're continuing to throttle down engine number one to hold altitude. Preparing for handover on the propellant tank. minutes we are handing off to the LOX tank. We are beginning to flip to horizontal. And the white cloud, the plume you were seeing was intentional. There is a liquid oxygen dump. 
We've now transitioned to horizontal and beginning the subsonic test portion of the flight where we check out the aft and the forward flaps to hold the vehicle stability as we descend back to the landing pad. These ships, of course, use the drag from falling broadside with flaps to slow their descent and save fuel. Here we see both vehicles achieving a stable skydiver fall position. T plus five and a half minutes, Starship continuing the subsonic descent. Using the fore and aft flap to control its attitude as we come back down to the landing pad. Everything continuing to go well in this portion of flight. minutes 10 seconds into flight we're down beneath one and a half kilometers we're preparing to restart two engines flip the vehicle vertically. now the two come down quite differently to land as we watch the rest of the videos And here they are synced up by engine lighting times. Here we see the engine's light, but notice the serial number 9 clearly has a faulty engine start and only has one engine burning. It falls much too quickly and doesn't have time to come completely upright before impact. Let's see them both one more time in slow motion and analyze the failure. Here's number 8, and we clearly see the problem. Serial number 8 lit both engines perfectly, but could not sustain enough fuel flow to both engines. One began burning oxygen rich and gave off a green flame as it burned off the combustion chamber lining. Insufficient header tank pressure killed serial number 8. Serial number 9 suffered a different fate. One of the two engines failed to light at all. And just one engine, even at full power, is clearly not enough. For number 10, they might need to light all three, just a little higher, then shut them off one at a time. That way, if one doesn't light, they'll have two to flip the ship and land. That's it for tonight. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Support us on Patreon if you can. Let's all get ready for serial number 10, and stay safe.